have returned with more judgment. I promised I would be back today. So here I am. I'm still on the voice call with Zero Team. You just can't hear him. So last time we ended at the end of chapter 4. So we should be starting 5. I'll let the previously play out. Last time on Dragon Ball Z. The Tojo clan is struck by Kyure clan gunfire. Kamarocho's disarray only spreads wider. On the surface, the diagram resembles a Yakuza turf war. But in the shadows are glimpses of a construction firm and political influence. And in Yagami's own shadow, the mole's sharp claws claim yet another victim. So Zero Team is currently playing Yagaza 6, and he's at the part where at Stardust, where you and Yuta show up, and then you have a boxing match. What do you mean he's dead? With Han. Didn't you just say everything would be okay? Stay calm, sorry, son. I'm just as shocked as you. It's a really good but, scene. It's I one of my favorites. Responsible. Have you contacted the police? No, not yet. You should do that right away, then. Do you think you could make the call, sorry, son? What? No, you, you should probably do the call. The cops show up and take over. Please. Yeah, okay. Thanks. And we need to pick. Suspicious. The vibration on this makes it so much better. on him. I'm looking for a uh, cell phone. What the? doing the extra stuff for more SP. Yep, it's one of my favorites. And guess who's the main show? Wouldn't it be best if you fought Yuta? But sadly, that's not the case. I wish. We don't want to fight him. We received a call from the Genda Law Office. You got here fast, Detective Kuroiwa. You really did. Were you on standby? Shintani, huh? This yeah. detective might not be on my side. His name has been coming up a lot lately. He's the reason Hamura walked, after all. <laughs> Perhaps you couldn't stand his newfound fame so you often. Damn, I knew it. I heard you two weren't exactly Go on, on good terms. <laughs> Do you greet everyone by accusing them of murder? Guess that's just how cops like you operate. 
Forensics will be here soon. We will need you present as a resident of the property. After that, we'll need some time to investigate. How sure. long? You'll have to find somewhere else to stay tonight at the very least. At the night? Uh, I don't have the money for that. Yet you my friendships are here. I base sources aren't even that Yeah, you, you just stands up for what us. Mean? Oh, I'm sure you do. I'm so glad you, you liked Yuta, bro. It was fun yeah, hanging sorry. out with Yuta. It was around for the cops to get here. Too bad Let's you don't get to hang out with him anymore. Yes. He's he put in the hospital. I'm just That's kidding. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll head over now. See you soon. More evidence. Report to Genda, but I have a case over here. Um, I'm kind of just doing random shit to be honest with you now. I just want SP so I get stronger. The cases help out a lot. I don't need heals. Nope. Oh, hello, lady. Let's check it out. A disaster. You're telling me a fortune? Oh! I got what? Inevitable. There's no such thing as coincidence. Huh? <laughs> He's afraid of black jackets. Yeah, it kind of is, yeah. I didn't think about it, but it says here he's he's uh, got a sign of a black disaster. So he got scared by a black jacket. Hmm? It could be a black cat. I have found one. Hmm? <laughs> Me. Nice to meet you, Amane. Have you seen a black cat anywhere? I wasn't really asking you. It was, it was kind of rhetorical. But I'm glad you answered. Thanks, Zero Team. Right, straight back. Yeah, now you gotta stand up for you to... Oh wait. You to swings. Yeah, he's pretty ass. He's not that great of a fighter. And it kinda shows. I think it's really bad actually. More hair. Ooh, indeed. <laughs> what was that sound? In the face. Bro, you tripped again? Excuse me. Gone with the gust. What's up for you to my boy? My poor Yuta. A 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you serious? Open air. Full sprint. Full sprint. <laughs> this guy found it. He took the hat. <laughs> what a punk. What? Now you get to chase after the kid? What a punk. Wait a sec. You take off the shirt. Fuck yeah, you do. I definitely think you take off the shirt most times in Yakuza 6. I wish you took off the shirt more in The Man Who Erases Name, but I totally understand why. Don't get hit by that car! You know, it's actually really dangerous to be chasing after this kid. He almost got hit by that car because of you. Full sprint, full sprint. Wait a sec. Gotcha. You're pretty fast, mister. What? You're fast yourself, kid. You're just perfect. Thank you. You shall meet again. ADSP, huh? And it's helped forward me next to the mission. Who says that wasn't worth, huh? Step forward now. I may let it slide. Alright, check for level ups. 400 points. I got nothing, I'm broke ass. You wanna find me? I need the SP points. that grenade? Oh, it's Ryan. Punch him. And stay Thank you, Ryan. Ryan the ninja. There's probably not anything that I need. Point made. I'll take a cigarette. Maybe some alcohol. Should I just buy everything? Some road. Oh, I'm rich. I could be here for a bit. Why is Jack Daniels so expensive? I'm not about. Oh, yeah, no. only 10 pocket tissues? You can't have 99 this time? Can you hold it? No. Same thing as, um. Rakuzo, like the dragon rules. You never know if you're gonna need it. I've been getting a lot of these for free though. Speaking of free, I really need to be talking to my my hacker friend. Alright, 
I am right next to him. But so is the story. Story first. Hello. I'm here to share your horrible news. I know you've had a rough night, Yagami. But if you're up to it, can you tell us what happened to Shintani? I definitely can, Chief. I'd love to. Save. I'd love to save. Sari-san was having trouble getting in touch with Shintani. So I decided to give him a call myself. See what well, she begged us to, actually. When I dialed him up, I heard the phone ringing in my closet. Shintani was killed the same way as all the others. The others? Do you mean his eyes were... Gouged out. Yeah. Correct. But Shintani's beef was with the Kyore clan. Why would the mole target him? I'm not so sure. It sounded like he knew something when you talked earlier. That's true. Right. But it's not like he knew what. It's a pissing contest, do you? Come on. The mole is way bigger than you know. He probably right. knew more about the mole than I did. And his source sure, had to have been Hamra. Maybe they killed him to keep their secret safe. But. <sighs> Why did he have to push Shintani Sensei's body in your office? Because it would make it look sure. like I killed him. Maybe to harass me? Maybe to scare me off their trail? <laughs> Maybe both. Yagami. Yes, sir. You might want to lay low for a bit. It's not safe for you here. Damn. Get out of town. Go somewhere quiet. If the mole comes after you next. Right. I'll do just that, Genda Sensei. He knows we're lying. You know, I watched over Chintani since his first day as a lawyer. Get out of good head on the piano music. And a knack for the job I could never compete with. But he didn't have the guts to succeed when push came to shove. Not the most persistent lawyer I've seen. Even so, he looked up to me. Guess I took it for granted. Thought he'd always be part of the team. When I first joined, Shintani Sensei was the one who showed me the ropes. He was a reliable man. We never hated him. Thanks for this, Yagami. Never once. Come on, Sarikun. I'll walk you to the station. Sure. Feel free to stay here tonight, Yakami. You just told me to get out of town. I appreciate it. What about you, Hoshinokun? I think I'll work a little more before I head home. <sighs> if you say so. Good night. Good night, boss. You want to talk to me? Do you want to throw a couple beers back? Remnants in the good times? I probably doubt there's something I want. God hands. Photo pros. Drone commander. I still don't understand friendship. Like, what is this girl friendship? Should I get it so I don't have to worry about it? I think this is friendship, so... Bam. Let's just do this. I have enough. I can even do blame shifter I want. It's so funny, I can restore health that way. Save again, because I'm addicted to saving. Make yourself at home, Yagami-san. I'll leave you the key. Are you two staying? have been here way longer anyway. You deserve it more than me. Thank you. 
Is that it? Do I have a minute? Sure, what's up? Well, it's about Shintani Sensei. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tough. Where are you at in Yakuza 6? Yagami san. I know you just told Genta Sensei team. you're gonna lay low. Where are you at in Yakuza that's 6? That's not true, is it? You wanna keep hunting down this killer. And if I said yes? Don't worry, I won't tell Genta Sensei. But in return. Hmm? Are you heading up to the apartment? Look for the mole, that is. I won't slow you down. I promise. Oh, Han Looking is telling you. Shintani, huh? <sighs> You're almost he at the end, Jackie. He strong as he led on. The tough guy act was a mask he wore to hide his insecurities. Deep There's down, no fighting. He was just weak. That's why he was going along with Hamura, not because he wanted to. I mean, who can say no to a Yakuza? And now look how it turned out. Oh. I was sitting smoke. right next to him this whole time. Cheers. There was nothing I could do to help. You know, I'm still young. I don't even know what kind of lawyer I want to be. Criminal? Civil? Not the slightest idea. But I know one thing. I don't want to be the kind of lawyer who sits on his hands after his friend gets murdered. Which what? means... That Are you sure about this, Hoshino? Genda Sensei told me to lay low. If you're seen helping me, don't worry about that. I'll defend myself in court if I need to. Now, Yagami-san, do you mind if I tag along? <laughs> You'll just tell Genda Sensei if I refuse, huh? Yeah, you got that right. Not much choice then. Welcome aboard. I don't feel like any of that is necessary. Well, let's get down to business. First off, I want to know what Shintani was doing before he died. And I have some evidence that may tell us just that. Oh, this phone. Shintani dialed this number earlier today. I want to know where it goes. Right. That makes sense. It's a good thing the killer forgot to take Shintani's phone, huh? This way we can see who he was calling. I suppose he didn't. The killer didn't forget. Even if the phone was gone, we'd still be able to get Shintani's data from his provider. Really? I had no idea. Wouldn't it be easier? Yeah. I bet he left the to phone put a so tracker the body then? quicker. Huh? I mean, he went through the trouble of hiding it in my office of all places. Probably wanted to cause as much chaos as possible, you know? Hey! The number got a hit in the search. It's apparently for the uh Advanced Drug Development Center? That's a good thing what a lawyer was calling that. What? Do you know it? Three years ago, there was a pretty famous murder there. A patient was killed, and their body dumped in the mountains. Oh, wow. And the man they arrested for it? Ah, <gasps> Shinde Okubo. Okubo, Okubo. It's my guy. Wait, he was your client, wasn't he? Boop, boop, boop. He worked as a contract laundry man for the center. Every two or three days, he'd stop by to pick up their dirty linens. According to the police report, <laughs> it was thought he carried the body out in a bundle of sheets. Did you watch right. the short I sent you? You defended him in court and won. But Look at it. He, it's in their text. He got free and... Uh, you can stop there. Uh, it's an actual story, though. But why would Shintani Sensei have called the ADDC? Yeah, I told you. Who would he even talk to? I bet we'll find out if we give them a ring. Yeah, you'll get some running but here shortly. It's getting late. You should go home. We both need some shut eye, yeah? You're almost at the end of the chapter, yeah, though. Yeah, we can start fresh. You get to meet the father. Where do we want to meet? Oh, right. <laughs> we want to keep this a secret from Genda Sensei, after all. There's an arcade called Charles up on Park Boulevard. That should work for now. Okay. I'll let Kaito san know. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I'll see you. It's raining outside. I saw the clouds coming in. I didn't actually notice.
That's so funny. We're heading over to Charles now. What's going on here? Mm. An old man in hell. Alright, first thing first. We're gonna go back to audio. Decrease it a bit more. Now we run. What's up, bud? I'm trying to talk to you. Not you. Excuse me. I'd call you a. Uh... Hmm? Rescue the old man. Do you think my ward's down here? Oh, this over here. Excuse me. Dragon's Palace. This is Yagami. My name's Yagami. Mm. <laughs> hmm. Some hermit of the Dragon Palace. Uh -huh. Sounds dope as fuck. Yeah. Third. Uh, but maybe teach me Dragon style. That way I can be the dragon of Dojima. It's so true. No longer, no more Dojima. Why did this guy go down? This is where he teaches me, huh? You shouldn't be here. He's gonna teach me dragon style. Right now. Right here, right now. Thunder Strike Extra? Hmm? Ah! Uh. Thank you. Oh, wait. So, go to items. Any of them? Oh, whoa. Have to use the Thunder Strike specifically? I think, is it this one, Heaven Strike? Specifically, Thunder Strike Extract. Thunder Strike Extract, there it is. Hurts. 
Yeah, this guy's cock fucking you. Oh shit. Good kick. Oh, that stunned me? Come on, that was bullshit. I'm sorry. The stun is crazy in this game. If they get you stunned, it's so hard to get out of it. Yep. Dragon Palace key. Excuse me. Alright, you and I together, old man. What the hell? Ha -ha. Huh? Yeah, it's his weird extracts. Hmm? teaching me how to make it Excuse mysterious me. score zero team you mind muting <laughs> no you're good he was eating chips I can hear a crunch. It's so expensive. How many can I have? Wow. Crazy expensive, actually. Raise the amount of SP obtained. You don't say. Thank you, old man. I don't know if that'll be worth it, but thank you. What's up, guys? There's something on your foot, good sir. Have you thought about lifting up your foot? Don't, don't mind me. Um, oh, fuck. You really blew that in my face, you motherfucker. You know, Zero Team in real life fucking does that to me sometimes. Some more often with weed, but sometimes he'll fucking blow tobacco smoke at me. What's up, bro? Where's the old man? You fucking blow smoke at my face. Hmm. Well, maybe... You should be considered. What's the name of the old man? Um... Right. This one. Otomora. You should credit yourself. I meant, um, this two star steak restaurant owner. He's a chef. I guess so. You probably know more about it than I do. You're welcome, dude. Best friends forever. You and I. You want my number? I'll call you. 
You can give me free steak. Wait, come back. That wasn't done negotiating our, my free steak. <laughs> Get back here. Uh, the story is kind of in the opposite direction. So this way. Um, also, the further you get in this game, the more enemies there are. So now there's there's a lot of people who show up. So now I kind of don't mind it. It's just not worth to fight them though. I have to get the SP though. I'm forced to fight them. Feels like it. This one increased the success rate. All right, I guess I'm doing rising tornado. Eat something. So who's a friend on the way? Right in front. I hope I've been here before. I think I have. Maybe not. What does it fill me up all the way? That was the cheapest thing it's got. That 600. 800 right there. Right, I'll take this sirloin. That lady's staring at me. Back to it. Can I get a different table? Thank you, good sir. Wait, why did... Was that not good enough for you? Okay, I see how it is. I came here for our friendship. I see what that means to you. <laughs> you don't care about me, I don't care about you. I'm gonna save, because I'm addicted to saving now. 11 hours. It's been 11 hours since I started this game. And I'm only on chapter 5. I don't think I'm making good progress, guys. Oh no. Oh, you're here. Ah, oh, sup, Kaido. Sugira. And my I new best friend. Me be here. Don't forget about me next time, yeah? I wish you'd fucking forget about me. <laughs> Is there a reason your little gang needs to keep meeting up here? It's I know so you nice love of you us. Let us use your store, Higashi-san. Especially when you're clearly so opposed to the idea. Don't talk down to Yakuza, kid. Oof. It's okay, Higashi-san. I think we all know you're nicer than you let on. Damn, bro. What the hell? Okay. Oh, damn. damn, and you're braver than you look, Hoshino-kun. You got the skills to back it up? <laughs> Just a third-degree black belt. <laughs> He's a third-degree black belt? Not that belt? I've ever had to use it. <sighs> well, I'll call this meeting to order. Find that hard to believe. Sure, I'll do the honors. I never once have to use it. Masamichi in this crying full city. Has been murdered. Given that his eyes were gouged out, it's likely the mole was responsible. And I'll need all of your help to track him down. It's only this crackdown team that I trust. The ADDC, huh? Weird time for that to come up again. What's a again? Four man's come club. Up before? 
We can talk about that later. Oh, we're a five-man squad. Important now is Shintani called them before he was killed. Hmm. I think I remember them being in the news a lot last year. Something about a new drug that could win a Nobel Prize. Yeah, here it is. Found something. The ADDC's research into AD9 has now been published one of the world's leading scientific magazines, leading to the gathering of reporters from both Japan and abroad that we have here today. It's a brand new dementia drug. They call it AD9. This was right after Director Kido from the ADDC published his paper on it. Okay. They're still undergoing clinical trials on larger animals, but apparently every single mouse they've given it to has made a full recovery. Mouse. Sure, sure. The man giving the presentation here is Dr. Ryusuke Kido, a world leader in neurophysiology and the primary researcher on AD9. He's the one who showed me around the center when I was looking into Okpo's case. Guess he's been the director for a while now. From what I can tell, really the Ministry like of Health is increasing the ADDC's budget to hasten the development of AD9. They're even adding another building to the center. It's a huge project. <laughs> Damn good deal they've got. I'm still not getting it, though. Why Shintani go and call them? That's what we're about to find out. And there's only one way to do that. Come on! Can't just take a man's phone. I sure can. First off, we'll need to figure out who You've Shintani done it is calling. Yeah, but how are we going to do that over the phone? I suppose that all depends on your acting skills, Detective Yagami. <laughs> Alright, Pratt. I'll try to pick the right answers. ADDC, front desk speaking. Hi there, ma'am. This is... No one's suspicious. Y'all give me a lawyer? I go Shintani. Do you think they know he's dead? There's no way Yagami's gonna work. Let's go lawyer. This is Takayuki Yagami. I'm a lawyer from the Genda Law Office. Ah, hello there, Yagami-san. I'm calling about a lawyer named Shintani who I believe contacted you yesterday. I was wondering if you could connect me with whoever he spoke to. Do you know the extension you wish to reach? Sorry, I don't. Mm. Why don't you just tell me what the call was about, and I'll connect you to the proper department. Oh, I don't know that I was, though. Uh... Oh, the drug department. It was about 89. The drug that can supposedly cure dementia. The truth was obviously the left side. I'm not authorized to talk about that. Uh, why don't I connect you with our publicity department? Sure. Please hold, sir. Doesn't sound like you're making much progress. No. Nope. Thank you for waiting. Uh, yes? It seems our publicity department never received a call from a Shintani-sama. I see. Thank you anyway. <laughs> no way this happens over the phone. It'll be faster to just head over there myself. You think that's gonna work? Not sure, but I know the director, remember? I don't case know scenario, if I there was a the right end. answer. I'll come with you, Yagami-san. Okay, me and Agashi will go check out what's going on with the Matsugane family. Shouldn't be tough with Hamura out of the picture. Hey, I don't remember saying I was gonna help you. By the way, Yagami-san. Sure. Whatever happened to that guy from three years ago? Shinpei Okubo. He's in the detention center. He's alive Been still. Since they gave him his death sentence. Have you ever gone to see him, Yagami-san? No. Why would I? Why do you ask, anyway? <laughs> I don't know. I was wondering what he was like. The case got tons of news coverage, you know. I was also wondering what you thought about the case. I mean, did you really think that he was innocent? The whole time. Probably. But then he walked and killed his girlfriend. 
you defended him for that too, yeah? I guess you'd say that, yeah. Yeah. Did you believe him then too? He kept saying the same thing. How he could never have killed anyone. But... I didn't believe him, no. Fighting for him in court made me sick to my stomach. Do you think he deserves the death penalty? That's enough of the question, Sugiura. <laughs> Woof. My bad. <laughs> Was that too far? <sighs> nah. If you say so. We. Oui. Um... Yagami-san? Yes, sir. You're heading to the ADDC now, yes? I'm gonna grab a taxi for us. I'll wait for you over on Park Boulevard. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Stay safe. Head over that way. Gambling, bro. The collectibles. I'm addicted. That's right there. So the skills, real quick. I need 600 for escape. Yeah, I saw you. Let's be on our way. How you doing over there, Zero Team? Did you fall asleep? I've heard a bit about this place. Let's get at least. But the ADDC. Isn't it just one part of a larger organization? If I recall correctly, they call it the Medical Institute. Is that accurate? <laughs> yeah. Where you on every last inch of this campus. <sighs> In the story. It's incredible. Even with all these buildings, they're still getting budget to expand from that new drug. The apartment. So? Is it the same as you remember? Yeah. Yeah, that's the end of the chapter. Huh? Don't go too far ahead, Yagami-san! Damn, we straight up left him. It's been a long time since we've been here. What are you all shaken up for? Calm down. Just stick with me and you'll be fine. Got that, Yagami? Yeah, he's not there. Yagami-san! Try not to just ditch me, okay? Is something wrong? I'm seeing ghosts. It's just... After three years, it still looks the same. Huh? Almost like time itself has stopped. Yagami-san. Come on. Front desk's over there. It's where we lost everything. Do you have an I don't, sorry. My name is Hoshino, from the Genda Law Office. This is my partner, Yagami. Thank you. We're here this to talk about talking. a murder that took place in Kamurocho yesterday. A, a murder? A co-worker of ours named Shintani. He was the victim. We have a record that he called this center before he was killed. Huh? We're hoping you can help us track down exactly who he spoke to. 
I'm being very sorry, sir, but I can't provide such private information. Well, could I at least talk to Director Kido instead? There's no way she has the ability to do that. Friend of mine. Just let him know Yagami stopped by to say hello. Uh, I don't think that'll be necessary. Look over there. Is he leaving? Oh, he's coming in, actually. Somewhere, huh? Gentlemen, I really don't know what else you want from me. I have nothing more to say. I've told the police all that I know. Yeah, I know. Sorry about all this, Director. Problem is, my partner here won't give it a rest till he sees the scene of the crime. But, I'm sure we'll be leaving soon. Well, that's not what we agreed upon. You know this isn't about how long it takes. And what about Okubo? I take it he's still not fessed up. Uh, no. Not quite as of yet, sir. But we all saw where the body was. Exactly where he said it would be. Quite true. Not much point in fighting this now. The Minister has made it clear that he wants it resolved soon as well. Just look at how yeah, much trouble one contractor has caused. The truth? Sorry. Which Minister? I didn't know about this, sir. The Health Minister. It's all his call how much funding we get. The director, if I may, if you would just direct me to the scene of the crime, I could head over there myself. I'll be out of your hair in no time, I assure you. I'd rather you didn't wander on your own. So instead, she can show you. You're showing me a girl. Terasawa kun. These gentlemen here are Shintani Sensei and uh, Yagami. It's a pleasure. I hope I can help you find what you need. I hope so. Well, with that, I'll be taking my leave. Thank you again, Director. Apologies for all the trouble. This way, I can show you how to get to Wakusan's room. Who's Wakusan? The guy who died in his room? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And you are... Terasawa-san, huh? Wow, you're young. And a looker to boot. Um, can we keep this professional? <laughs> Damn. Huh. Nice Damn. try, Shintani-sensei. Shut down. Not the friendliest girl in town, huh? We're really not exactly play the backstory? guests here. After I busted my ass to pass the bar, I always figured I'd have my I don't picture. Care. Ladies. This guy's long gone. Alright, can you show me where we're going? Right this way, please. Straight ahead is the ADDC's general ward. Wakusan's room is on the fourth floor. Okay, what floor are we on now? There's nothing sketch about this. This looks pretty normal to me. This was the room assigned to Wakusan. What's down there? That's the research wing, where they develop all our new drugs. Oh. You can't a get in without a gold separate department, card, huh? Not even I have one. <laughs> Gold, huh? I suppose because it's the heart of the center's operations. Sure. Huh. Sounds like it's a whole nother world back there. Security like that must be a bitch. Come on, Yagami. So you were already kind of skeptical of it back then, huh? 
Before he died, Wakusan spent most of his time in here. And when was he admitted? Two years ago. With Alzheimer's. Some kind of dementia, right? Alzheimer's is a neurodegenerative disease that leads to dementia, yes. In fact, it's the cause of almost 70% of all dementia cases. So, they're one and the same, kinda? Anyway, do what you gotta do, Yagami. Hmm, okay. This is interesting at the bed, but... Nothing's popping up. What the? Has anyone else slept here since Wakusan's death? Nobody, no. And Wakusan was missing from his room the morning of the incident, yes? That's right. So, he was murdered here, then carried out. I can't say for sure, but it's likely. Interesting. Someone threw him out, you think? The window sealed shut. There's no way Wakusan could have escaped through here. Okay. And then the entrance. Are you hiding anything, huh? All the rooms have windows like this, right? Seems like people would notice if something was going on in here. Well, we only have so many employees in this ward. The halls stay fairly busy, but it's mostly dementia patients moving between appointments. I see. I wonder how the room looks from the hallway. You got all you need from here, yeah? I think so. I think so too. Hmm, you can definitely see what's going on from out here. Shintani-sensei, can you lay on the bed for me? Uh, I guess so. Care to join me, Terasawa-san? No. What do you got to lose? No. Stay away from her. It was a joke! So from this vantage point, you can't make out the person's face. So, was this the colossal waste of time I knew it'd be? Nope. I got something I'd only get from being here. Does it matter? It's been days. Case is practically closed. Shinpei Okubo is guilty as hell. Well, according to him, he's not. Well, of course that's what he says. Consider the facts, though, man. You want to review the case? Sure. You want to? Sure. Sure. Let's go over what we know so far. Whatever you want. All right. Here we go. Our victim was the patient staying in this room. Koichi Waku. Male. Age 66. At 8.30 a.m. on the morning of the crime, the nurses noticed he was missing from his bed. Given Waku's degenerative state, they assumed he was wandering around the hospital somewhere. But after being unable to track him down, hospital staff filed a missing persons report. Right. You know what a dementia patient's like, though. Hard to imagine they'd make it outside on their own. The only conclusion, then, was that somebody must have taken him out of the hospital. After inspecting all the cars that came in and out of the center, they were left with one possible suspect. A laundry man by the name of Shinpei Okubo. Yep. It didn't take much prodding for Okubo to confess. So what do you think of the end of the chapter? Moments. And lo and behold, Zero team. three months after Waku disappeared, what do you think of the, end of the, the chapter? cops found his body rotting away right where Okubo said it'd be. Cause you of death find out the most truth? likely suffocation, but they still don't know for sure. That, uh, Any he's not the father. So far, Yagami Sensei. And he's dead. Actually, yeah, you're forgetting something. And what's that? Okubo kun insists he didn't kill anyone. All he admits to is dumping the body. Yeah, always. No, oh, sure. He just touched Come it. Come on, Yagami. Guy's got a history of assault, and it's on record. Roughed up his girlfriend, accidentally broke her finger. Right, but that was over six years ago. He was just a kid. Got drunk, made a huge mistake. And what? It's okay for a kid to hit a woman? Of course not. But that's not what he's on trial for. True. I don't condone what he did. 
But legally, committing one crime doesn't mean you're guilty of another. True. Fine. But what about Okubo's shaky alibi? He said he left the center at 10 a.m. after grabbing the sheets from the general ward. Claimed Wakusan's corpse somehow got loaded into his truck. <laughs> Who's gonna believe garbage like that? If anyone should, it's his lawyers. We can continue playing. We're meeting with Okubo after this, right? You should just be honest with him. For a little bit longer. Tell him the case is unwinnable. Are you two done here? Yep. Can you show us the garage next? The one where Okubo kun parked his truck. The service entrance, I think it was. That's the only other place we'll need to see today. I'm not gonna walk there. We'll need to take an elevator down there. Follow me. Okay. The way. I'm ready to go. Yeah, it sucks for you, dude. I don't wanna leave too, but we're gonna just be on the case. Come on, can you walk a little bit faster? If I run, will it speed it up? She does not run with us. The good news is she doesn't stop. Next question. Can I push her? Does she have push logics? Oh, she does have physics. Shinsami, come here and help me push her. Push her, push her, push her. This way. Hey, Yagami. You're never gonna last if you keep taking cases like this. Criminal suits are a constant test of your conviction. Your sense of justice. They don't even pay that well. Careful who you say that around. Look, just chill out, okay? Take it from me. I've been around the block way longer than you have. That doesn't mean shit, bro. <sighs> Looks like a regular old garage to me. What were you expecting? You'd make it out with no the problem if you your body into your truck down here. It's quiet. It is. Hey, Yagami, check this out. Yeah, These are the carts they use to collect sheets and linens. Day of the crime, Okubo was all over the hospital with one of these things. It would have been simple for him to sneak a body in there and cart it right out. Maybe so. Well, where was Okubo parked on the day of the incident? Oh, um... You don't know? You just came up with something to distract me? The truck was parked this here. This guy was trying to distract me. Back, facing the elevator. Here's a recreation of it. What a bastard. I see. DNA evidence from the victim was found in the flatbed of the truck. That's proof enough that the body was there. And when they confronted Okubo, he flat out admitted- yeah, cat cafe. Yeah, it's an issue. What is this car doing here? Whose car is this? Why is there no other card in here? Um, what else am I looking for? So the body was hidden in a laundry basket, taken out through here. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. When was Wakusan last seen? Just before 8 a.m. on the day of the crime. Yeah, 7.50 to be precise. An ADDC scientist will be testifying to that. He claims he's nice and cozy in his bed. I see. Can we talk to this witness? I tried to get an appointment, but they shut me down. Said they don't want us interfering with their research anymore. They're not willing to make an exception this once? This isn't an issue you want to push, Yagami. Worst Bro, case, these guys are hiding shit with from us. Intimidation. All right, right, everything. Right. Anyway, the victim was last seen at 7.50. That's right. 
Breakfast is at 8 o'clock, so the patients who can walk on their own gather in the break room. But on the day of his disappearance, 8.30 came and went with no sign of Wakusan. You thought you'd find him quickly. Didn't exactly turn out that way. Right. Got that, Yagami? Here, let's go over some more details. What we know is, Waku was taken out of his room sometime between 7.50 when he was last seen, and yeah, 30 when everyone noticed he was gone. During that 40-minute span, somebody suffocated Waku and stuffed him into the laundry bin. Nobody and they think it's Okobo. In the cart. And the only clear culprit was Okobo, the man in charge of the laundry. To further back this up, DNA evidence from Waku was found in Okubo's truck. Then when the police questioned Okubo, he confessed to burying the body in the mountains of Okutama. Three months after the crime, Waku's corpse was finally found. Why would he confess to With me? This thing's airtight, Yagami. I know you're getting into this, but come on. Just give it up already. Mm -hmm. You don't have a chance. Even though Okubo says he's innocent, I promised him we'd do everything we could. Not my problem. You shouldn't make promises you can't keep. <sighs> Fine, then I'll do it alone. You don't have to be involved. Even no, he's I'm definitely not, gone. The loss yeah. will hurt Gendo-sensei's reputation. I'm sorry, but our client says he's innocent. I can't back down from this. How do I do? His favorite thing is hooking up with girls from the cabarets. I'll be in the lobby. You don't know that. <laughs> you end like every game, kind of like in the hospital. If you like, I could take you to see Wakasan's room. Or missing. You don't mind? Well, that would be great. <laughs> he's not. He's not. He's <laughs> you look excited again. Wakasan was here until the morning of the incident. Then he just up and disappeared. Um, are you finished? <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, I've seen what I need. Anything else you can share? Um, you know what that reminds me then? Of what you think Kiryu is. That you described him. How long him? will Okubo-san's sentence be? Huh? No. If he's found guilty, that is. Probably uh, ten keep years. Keep older. Maybe more. Something you said it's hard to say a for few sure. days ago, like a week and ago. what if he confesses? Would they shorten his sentence? I had to like the very not least not tell Neo when I was trying to describe Kiryu. But you're still going to push him. He's got plea? super strength. Even though Okubo-san is the one who suffer for it. If he's really not guilty, he won't Do you remember have. Now? I'll win. No. Nope. That's what but I said. To be perfectly honest, this is my first criminal case. What? Um, Civil cases have been a mixed bag for me, too. I've actually lost more than I've won. No, I do know. Is that so? I can't say Apparently, it. Apparently, a smart lawyer would never even consider an innocent plea in this case. Guess it's a good thing that I'm not so smart then. I guess. Because I honestly believe I can win. You're on the right track. But it's not about race. Were you close to Okubo-kun? I spoke to him pretty often, yes. I would see him you're around fucking, the ward all the time. You're fucking... What do I call you, you all the time? Of, did he seem like the kind of guy who'd do something like this? There you go. I'm sorry. The director super told us not to say too much. Wait! If you know anything that can help, just get in touch, okay? I'll he do whatever out. it takes he puts to two and two together. Free, but I can't do it alone. Just... Give it some thought, Terasawa-san. Just now, we went to the ADDC. Thought I should have a look at things with my own eyes. And? How did it go? There's no chance you walk. You're practically a lost cause. Hey. Yagami-sensei, is that what you think? I'd 
personally don't think it's that, like no. this, Okabal. You tell me you're innocent, and I'll fight to the end. I really have nothing to lose by helping you out. It's just like I told you. Whoever did it is framing me. Okay, I believe you. On the day of the crime, you were in the general war at the ADDC, yes? Starting at 8 a.m., you went around to each room and gathered the linens. Yes. Nobody would dispute that. And after that, you covered Wakusan's nose and mouth, suffocated him, and then carted him out in the laundry bin. That's not true. Wakusan wasn't there when I went into his room. I didn't see him at all that day. You have to believe me. And I do. So when you went down to leave the center at 10 a.m. after gathering the linens, you realized there was a body hidden in the truck. Yes. That's what happened. Then, after debating whether or not to report the body, you chose to hide it in the mountains. I had a criminal assault on my record. You mean hiding the body? I knew the police would have suspected me if I went it. to them. Aren't you forgetting the bad blood you had with Wakusan? Huh? Bad blood? What are you talking about? We're detectives, remember? Three days before the murder, Wakusan claimed Okubo I'm not hiding a body. Him and stole his wallet. They We're gonna make this guy who hid a body innocent. When did you even ask? While you were busy chatting up Terasawa-chan. <laughs> even if I bitch about it, I'm still damn good right. at my job. Thanks for hanging out with your team. Well, Okobokun, did you take his wallet or not quite? I'll catch you uh, um, probably this weekend. It's a symptom of dementia. I'll see you Sunday. He's been stolen from you, then blame the first person you see. Not the easiest thing to deal with, right? Someone accuses you of theft for no reason? Must have been a shock. So when Wakusan tried to hit you, you just about hit him back. But I didn't hit him. No. You murdered him. I wouldn't right. kill a man over That's something like that. You and me chat. I, I wish I could believe you, pal. Come on, Okobo Kun. Zero team has work in the morning. Violence. It wasn't me. I swear. Somebody set me up. Please, you have to believe me. Whoever did this is laughing at all of us right now. <sighs> Calm down. Yagami Sensei. Sketch. Real sketch. Do you believe me? I do. Okay. The next time, come along. Fine. I can take a hint. You and Yagami Sensei can cuddle up all you want. <laughs> and it's definitely hey. weird how we made him innocent you know after that. that. Nurse, Cute girl. It sounded like she was worried about you. Bet you'd have a chance with her once you get out of here. I don't know. If you'll excuse me. Oh, uh, and that was Aerie. Dude. What the heck? So Shintani just left you hanging, huh? He's got to learn some damn patience. Maybe so. But this is my case now. I can handle it myself. Huh. Okay. Just like that. Just like that. You're just gonna lend me to this case. Yagami-san. Yes, ma'am. Have you seen Mafia lately? Well, where's this coming from? She's just not that great with men. I suggest you be sure. more assertive. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, you mean that friend of yours, Sarikun? She's got Shintani all riled up. Said he'd have been nicer to you if he knew you had friends who looked like her. <laughs> Jackass. Hey, nothing's official yet, guys. Regardless, keep it on the down low, okay? Yet? That word says more than you think. <laughs> Why you laugh like that? 
Um, probably supposed to sit at my desk, right? I'll keep my lips sealed. Thank you. Mafia Kuhn's a prosecutor, right? Isn't it kind of taboo for her to date a defense attorney? Can we not do this? Either way, guess the Okobo case comes first. We're pleading innocent, yeah? That's the plan. What is your plan here? This isn't gonna be an easy win. Well, I'm working on that. There's one piece of evidence that still bothers me. Yeah? And what's that? Um... Probably the autopsy. This is Wakusan, the victim. Suffocation is the apparent cause of death. They still haven't nailed it down conclusively. As for his body, it was found buried in the mountains of Okutama. And Okubo's the one who told him where it was, right? As I've seen, he's admitted to that much at least. And that's really bad. Yes, but he insists he didn't commit the murder. Maybe so, but you're gonna need evidence if you want to prove it. They find anything on the body? Maybe something that give our man an alibi? No, nothing like that. Well, that's a shame. Well, that's not my point, though. The evidence I showed you is... That evidence won't win you the case. What the hell's your problem? Was that Shintani? I think so. Get back here! <laughs> Uh, that bastard. Oh, it's eavesdropping on you. What the hell? Uh, I tried to stop him, but uh, he pulled a stun gun on me. Uh, uh. Hey, wait up! That's Harry. That's the girl, the nurse girl. Hold up! Really? Tripped over that. Don't stop, never stop. Full sprint. Thread the needle. Yep, get back here. Stop running from her. Let me go! We got a groper out here? Scum of the earth! You're gonna make me fight, Sears? <laughs> Not on my watch, you son of a bitch! Even though they're trying to rescue her. Why would they implement you fighting in this game? For the flashback. Spin on the floor is hilarious when you kick them. <laughs> K 
Can all lawyers fight like that? Nope, just me. Did you really need to run away like that? This is one hell of a flashback. Last you came to see me. There was something I wanted to talk to you about, yes. But I wasn't sure if I should. Then that pig-headed friend of yours started shouting, so I just lost it. Okay, but did you have to tase him? Not that he didn't have it coming. Anyway, I'm <laughs> listening if you want to talk. No matter what it is, I'll keep your secret. Anything you tell me will fall under client attorney privilege. Well, you know the witness who last saw Wakusan? Sure. Said he saw him sleeping in his bed. Uh huh. Well, that witness is a man by the name of Shonosan. He's one of the scientists at the ADDC. Not only that, but he's the director's right hand man, too. Oh, he's probably also the guy. That I saw. This is him? Yes. You think he's the one? Yes. He's a very dedicated doctor. He's the so one the that's standing next to him in the current time period. But something felt off when I heard what he had to say about the incident. And what's that? I guess I'm just skeptical as to whether or not he actually saw Wakusan. I don't think he's intentionally deceiving us, but he may be mistaken somehow. And if I had to guess, I'd say the other nurses feel the same. Really? Still, why hasn't anyone mentioned this until now? How could we? Nurses talking about a doctor behind his back? That's not something a nurse could do without consequences. And if it came to a courtroom testimony... None of you would testify? Maybe the other nurses wouldn't, but I would. I never really fit in over there anyway. Besides... Yeah? I think Okubo-san is innocent. Oh, really? Sounds like I've finally got an ally on my team. Yeah, the only one really. I'm currently employed as a researcher at the Advanced Drug Development Center. Part of our research consists of clinical tests we perform on patients in the general ward of the center. On the day of the crime, I was making my usual rounds through the ward. And what time was that? Around 7.50. You're sure? Yes. The patients eat breakfast at precisely 8 o'clock. I always head to the break room myself uh, right around then, too. This break room, to be precise? That's correct. Our more mobile patients walk there for breakfast instead of eating in their own rooms. Then, while the nurses help the patients eat, I ask about how they feel and how the medicine is treating them. And on the day of Wakusan's disappearance, you pass by his room before going to the break room? Yes. And in that room, you saw Wakusan lying on the bed. Yes. Isn't that strange Can though? Describe the situation to us as you remember it. Baku, why I go to the the door has a window, the break room. so you can see into the room from the hallway. To get breakfast, right? And this is the room you're referring to? Yes. That's correct. From where I was standing in the hallway, I could see Waku-san lying in bed. He was asleep, with a blanket covering most of his body. And what time was that? Around 7.50. No further questions. Are we going to break up his testimony now? Yagami-sensei. Why did you call her to the stand? She actually asked to testify. Is that a problem? Not really, no. Interesting. Sounds rather strange. Terasawa-san, you were present for Shono-san's testimony just now, yes? Yes. And what is your opinion on that testimony? For a scientist, 
I felt his wording was rather imprecise. And as a medical professional, I felt his actions were negligent. Could I ask you to be a little more specific? Our witness, Shono-san, claims he saw Waku-san sleeping in his bed during his morning rounds. However, there's no way he could have known that just by looking in from the hallway. Yeah, I have evidence supporting Terasawa-san's testimony. I do in fact have evidence of this. Please look at this. Everyone, please say a gander at the screen. The victim's room as viewed from the hallway. In other words, this is what Shonosan would have seen when he checked in on Wakusan. Um. This witness the culprit was hiding in the hospital room. Wakusan was already dead when Shonosan went to check on him. What are you implying? At the time, the defendant hadn't yet collected the linens. In fact, he hadn't even arrived at the ADDC. Meaning, Okubo-san could not have been the murderer. Assuming that's true then, why did he go through the trouble of hiding Waku-san's body in his laundry cart? Huh? But, well, depending on how you look at it... Please. You know this is a court of law, don't you? Was that the wrong one? Sorry, let me start. Our witness, Shono-san. However, I'm not... It's a photograph of the victim. In other words... Um... Uh -huh. shono was lying when he said he saw Waku-san in the bed. Excuse me? What he saw from the door was likely nothing more than a bulge of sheets. He couldn't have been able to identify it specifically as Wakusan. So to claim as much in his testimony seems like quite an exaggeration, don't you think? But common sense would dictate otherwise, would it not? Who would be in the bed other than Wakusan? The staff nurses are trained to always enter a room when checking in on a patient. In Wakusan's case, it's impossible to tell anything just by looking in from the hallway. There was actually one time a while back where we thought he was under the covers only to find Wakusan eating in the break room a second later. And upon re-examining the room, we realized that we had mistaken a bunched up pillow for Wakusan. The witness makes an important distinction. The prosecution asserts that Shonosan's testimony is clear, that the victim was taken out of his room at some point between 7.50 and 8.30 in the morning. They claim that because of this time frame, the defendant must have smuggled Wakusan's body out in his laundry bin. Yeah. Good idea. But if Shono-san's testimony is invalid, as the defense asserts, we have to consider the possibility that Waku-san was taken in the middle of the night when nobody else was around. After which, the killer could have waited until the morning to plant the body in the defendant's truck. In other words, the defense establishes that there is reasonable doubt that Okubo-san is the killer, rendering the prosecution's central argument unsound. Your Honor, taking this new testimony into account, I'd like to call Shono-san back to the stand for cross-examination. You can't be lying in court of law, brother. Better make sure that this is right. Yes? I'll get right to the point. On the day of the crime, what did you see when you looked into Waku-san's room? I saw Waku-san asleep in his bed, I think. I and did thought. you get a clear look at his face? I don't remember. So it's possible that it could have been someone other than Wakusan in that bed. Or maybe even a pillow that you mistook to be Wakusan's body. Isn't that right? Objection! The defense is leading the witness. Sustained. Please rephrase the question. Sure. Shono-san, can you say without a doubt that Wakusan was in that bed when you checked on him? I... I, I don't think I can, no. Can there you have it? Then the defense rests. But I do have a quick remark for the prosecution. Huh? The charges against my client stem from your assertion that he's the only possible suspect. 
assuming the crime took place within the stated time frame. However, the defense has proven without a doubt that Shono-san's testimony is unreliable, establishing reasonable doubt for my client. I would suggest then, that, that you withdraw the charges against my client. With such inconclusive evidence, you'll only be wasting the court's precious time. The prosecution does not consider the witness's testimony inconclusive. His mm -hmm. memory of the incident may be fuzzy, yes, but that doesn't change that he saw the victim. So, your whole case is based on a fuzzy memory? This promising young man's future is at stake, and you're willing to throw that away on unreliable testimony? Dr. Shono is a bright and diligent researcher. After watching his own grandmother develop dementia, he vowed to create a drug that could cure the disease. After paying his own way through medical school, he went on to become the head researcher at the ADDC. You're kidding him with that story? Day, Dr. Shono visits his sick patients out of the kindness of his heart, leading to his valiant testimony here today. If you want to know whether I trust this man, then my answer is a resounding yes. In other words, because he's such a great researcher, his testimony is infallible. His own admission that he's not sure is somehow overlooked? Is that the sum of it? <clears throat> because yeah, from yeah, here, yeah. it sounds like you're putting your faith in Shono-san's title, not his testimony today. The prosecution is not as easily swayed as you think. And you want to talk reputation? What of your client's history of domestic abuse? Uh, we don't need it. Six years Thank ago, the defendant so. broke his girlfriend's finger. The poor girl is still suffering from the effects. And the cause? A minor, drunken disagreement. Now, fast forward to what occurred a few days prior to the crime. Wakusan, suspecting the defendant of stealing his wallet, lashed out and punched the defendant in the face. Given the clearly violent nature of Okubo-san here, that alone would be motivation enough to he punch him? poor old... Why is she standing up? Is something wrong, ma'am? Please remain seated while court is in session. This is... You can't be doing that. It's a disruption to the court. You can be removed. Okubo-san is not a violent person. And he hasn't even had a drink in over six years. Not a single drop since the incident. My court will not stand for this commotion. He didn't blame Wakusan at all. He knew that the outburst was just caused by his dementia. That it was all the sickness's fault. So there was no reason for him to resort to murder. Terasawa-san, please. Okubo-san really is an incredible, caring person. Please leave this courtroom at once. You're right that he may be hard to approach, but he's a kind soul, and he always keeps his promises. Okubo-san's not the only person in this courtroom who would be affected by a guilty verdict, either. As a matter of fact, it would break my heart. And even through it all, he wanted me to keep this a secret. Not to tell anyone, not even his lawyer, that we were dating. Oof. Even though he knew he could have ended up in prison, Making sure I was safe was the only thing in the world he cared about. That's just who he is! But when the prosecution has already decided he's a criminal, how could he possibly be given a fair trial? <sighs> Her little outburst wasn't technically admissible, but as the trial dragged on, it hung over the jury like a stone. And in the end, Shinpei Okubo was found not guilty. Yep. But only a month after his release, lucky. everything changed. The same girl who had so bravely proclaimed Okubo's innocence died by the man's own hand. So we say, so we say. I still don't believe it. And here we are. The guy is still next to him. 
something wrong? No, it's nothing, Vice Minister. But... I haven't seen you in about three years, Kido-san. I see you're still the director. You look familiar, but I can't quite place the name. I seem to recall you looking sharper. I'm a detective based in Kamurocho now. The name's Yagami. Ah, I remember now. You're the reason Terasawa-kun's no longer with us. Remember, Shono? Okubo-san was unstoppable. If only my testimony had been better. Shono-san, right? Does it matter? What brings you here, anyway? I'm investigating a murder. And I'll need your cooperation with it. Just like old times. Please, yes, tell I me see. what you've been up to. It's yes. been far Thank too you. long. It does seem we received a phone call from this Shintani-san you speak of. Do you know who he was calling? Dr. Shona. The same Shono-san you were just with? Yes. However, it's unclear as to what the point of the call was meant to be. Shono was away from his desk at the time, you see, and Shintani-san didn't leave a message. You have no idea what he wanted to talk about? None. Shono says he doesn't know a Shintani-san, and sees no reason why he would be calling. Oh, really? Shono and I co-authored the research paper on AD-9. We're quite well known, as it turns out. Sometimes, complete strangers pretend to be close friends or relatives in order to contact us. Perhaps Shintani-san fell into that category. Have you heard of the mole murders taking place in Kamurocho, Dr. Kido? Three Yakuza, each one with their eyes gouged out. It's a grisly business. Shintani was killed in the same way. I've seen the news. Very recently. Can you think of anything tying the ADDC to those murders? Huh? Look, just what are you implying? Look, I believe we're done here. There's nothing I can help you with. Please stop! You can't! Oh, what's going on here? Who are you? Oh, detectives. Detective Kuroiwa, Kamuro Police, Organized Crime. What's going on? One of your guests here has information related to the case I'm currently investigating. Which one? That would be you, Yagami. Yeah, what's going on? Mm -hmm. I'd like to speak to you as a material witness to the murder of the lawyer, Masamichi Shintani. I'm trying That's to figure not... this out myself. That's going to end the chapter. Alright. I'm going to stop here. Thank you all for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, night. Take care. Bye-bye.